No, free will is yeah. the ego. I think it is called free will. Yeah. But you are deciding what the divine will has already decided for you. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, yeah. We decide what God has already decided for us. <laughs> but we do not know. We think that we have decided. And we have decided with so much struggle, you know, so much stuff here. <laughs> we don't even go to one hell after the other before you come to a decision, and then you say, you know, finally I made this decision. <laughs> He goes Leela. <laughs> As he says rightly, with the Leela of small eye. <laughs> you know, we say God's Leelas are endless. But it is the ego leelas that are endless. <laughs> in helping somebody in need, you don't say by his past karma he is suffering, so I have nothing yes. to do. <laughs> you are rush, rushing to help them to reduce your past karma. You understand? Your benefit is in rushing to help. The free will of the ego I is in truth the divine will. See, the ego is Maya. It will trick you in one hundred things. <laughs> that is why the attitude is very important. You cannot help this ego. You can't get rid of it overnight, you know, like a dress. So the thing is, that you have to develop the right attitude to life. And this that right is attitude the... is, that is why help people as much as you can without expectations. You understand? If they may be suffering because of their past karma, but you, you are not to just stay put like this, saying, oh, it's past karma, let them do it. Yes. When your past karma comes, you will suffer and no one else will suffer. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So our job is to help people as much. You shouldn't even think that you are helping. God is giving you a chance to help. Or better still, the highest attitude is, He is doing it through me. I am but an instrument. That is very important. So three things are important, chanting the name yes, yes. and then this attitude of being an instrument in his hands. And if you should think that I am doing immediately, hastily, you offer it to God. Okay. And the third is helping people as much as you can without any expectation. That's possible only when you think that you are doing it for the sake of God.